when a handsome man with Asperger's syndrome married an autistic woman with Down syndrome. Many people laughed at their union and their desire to become parents. However, a year later, they regretted their harsh comments and are now jealous of this beautiful couple. Charlotte Fian was a beautiful young woman living in Britain. She was born with Down syndrome and later diagnosed with traits of autism. Although she had some challenges growing up, she was an ambitious young woman. She was not planning for her difference to stand in her way. Her hopes and dreams were to get an education and find the man of her dreams. A long way away in the United States, Riley Emlyn was trying to cut out a life for himself. He never had it easy growing up. Diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, he knew how it felt not to be understood by most people. He did not have the best opinion of himself, yet he was trying to come to terms with some of the challenges his disabilities added to his everyday life. He always hoped for love, but was never confident that he would actually find it. One of the things Riley loved to do was to scroll through his Facebook feed. In this quiet space, there was no judgment of who he was and he could let his guard down. One evening, as he was scrolling, he came upon a video of a girl giving an empowering speech. She had Down syndrome, yet here she was, in front of the UN, standing up for the rights of disabled people. Riley was instantly impressed by her courage and determination, but her blue eyes and beauty tugged even harder at the strings of his heart. For the first time in ages, he felt an attraction and infatuation for a girl he did not know. There was little Riley could do to meet this girl. He thought she was out of his league, and also she lived on the other side of the ocean. However, he could honor her bravery and show his admiration by reposting her speech, urging other people to listen to her story and follow her. For the next six months, he became a follower and secret admirer of this beautiful girl. Charlotte was the young woman giving the speech Riley had found inspiring. She was building a life and career for herself, but like most people, she wanted to be loved for the person she was. She often checked out the profiles of her followers, and one day she came upon the profile of a young man she thought had great potential. His name was Riley, and she liked what she saw. It was time to take the initiative and send him a friend request. Riley could hardly believe his luck the moment he saw the message of Charlotte. This was no joke or prank. The girl that he had been eyeing for about six months was aware that he existed. She introduced herself to him as Charlie, and the two started corresponding. The more info and conversations that they shared, the two realized that they had much in common and became very good friends. Soon, they rewarded each other with the title of best friend but Riley was already hopelessly in love. Despite this fact, he did not want to ruin their relationship or take the risk of losing this very special girl. But thankfully, he wasn't the only one falling. Charlie liked Riley as well and wanted to know if he had any feelings for her beyond friendship. So she decided to put him on the spot. Were they simply friends or did he have any feeling of love for her beyond their platonic relationship? Riley was over the moon when she asked, but he was also very cautious about revealing his true feelings. Like a seasoned tennis player, he threw the ball back into Charlie's court, asking her if she would object if he had romantic feelings for her. While he was playing it cool, his heart was pounding out of his chest of excitement. Then Charlie's response came. She would be delighted to be called his girlfriend. After two months of corresponding and learning more about each other, the two officially became a couple. The romance was in the air, with both of them having some challenges with communication and expressing themselves over text messages. The couple upgraded to video chats. Now they were able to observe each other more closely and see how they related over time. It did not take long for the topic of marriage to be brought up. Both Riley and Charlie were excited that they had met someone who was considering the prospect of spending the rest of their lives together. So Charlie came to America to meet Riley in person. The week the two of them spent together was one of the best memories they had. It was clear that this relationship was worth pursuing. The two young people were in love and they embarked on the adventures of their lives. They were willing to make huge adaptations and sacrifices to pursue each other across oceans. Next, it was time for Riley to travel and he arranged to visit his sweetheart in England for a week to experience her in her world. His heart was growing fonder of her each day 
and he could see that she also loved him. But he was still uncertain if things were not moving along too fast. After all, marrying someone who lived across an ocean would pose some challenges. On their last night together, Riley mustered up all his courage then proposed to the love of his life in the Drummond pub in Guildford, England. Charlie played hard to get for a few seconds, but then gave Riley a distinctive yes while onlookers cheered and celebrated with the couple their successful quest of finding true love. Finally, Charlie had found the man of her dreams. There were many things she found compelling about Riley. To her, he was extremely handsome. She never thought that she would attract the attention of such a good-looking man. On top of that, he was very sweet and kind. But one of the things she absolutely loved about him was that he was so tall. Being 4 feet 10, or 1.45 meters, herself, she had to look up quite a bit to her fiancé of 6 feet 1, or 1.85 meters. Not only did she feel protected by this tall guy, but it was also quite handy to have him around as she often struggled to reach things on high shelves. Despite being such a handsome man, Riley did not always have a lot of confidence. Although he had the magnificent skills of playing six musical instruments, he did not value himself that much. One of the Asperger's syndrome setbacks was that he struggled with short-term memory and loud noises. The love and unconditional acceptance of Charlie finally made him realize that he was a great human being with lots of potential to offer to the world. And his social skills increased dramatically after the two started dating. Their relationship was one characterized by unconditional love. To this couple, love meant connectedness and companionship. Even when they spent time apart, they knew someone was waiting for them to come home every day. Charlie wanted to grow old with Riley, the man she loved with all her heart, and he reciprocated her feelings completely. Finally, the couple was able to tie the knot in a very special and intimate wedding ceremony on 30 July 2022. Charlotte looked stunning in her beautiful white dress, with her tall and handsome husband dressed in a perfect tux and yellow tie by her side. Their hopes and dreams for life are no different from that of other people. They want to get an education and live independent lives. For this very reason, Charlie is pursuing a degree in criminal justice as she is self-motivated and intelligent. Then, of course, they have already found love and got married. The next logical step would be to have children of their own. It is this particular life goal that has made people skeptical about this relationship. Many do not think that people with neurodivergent conditions should be allowed to have and raise children of their own. Their judgment of this couple was very harsh and severe, and did not take into account that Riley is a paraeducator who spends at least 30 hours per week educating other people's children. Charlie, on the other hand, had been a golf coach for many years, with some of her clients being children. The couple already had plenty of experience in the field, somehow even more than neurotypical couples often have before conceiving. Still, many people laughed at Riley when he posted pictures of him with his wife. However, those same people are now regretting their harsh comments. The lovebirds have been married for over a year now, and they are still going strong. Charlie has adapted well to life in the US, and she has proved to be an amazing wife for Riley. The only thing standing in their way of starting a family is the fact that they would like to have a good house where they could raise children, but with their combined incomes, they will soon be able to afford one. It is clear that skeptics had made a mistake when they judged this incredible couple, and many of them had already acknowledged that they were too quick to jump to their own conclusions. Some of them even admitted to being jealous of this beautiful couple. Just because they act a little different from other people, it doesn't mean that they don't deserve love or support from friends and family members. After all, despite their challenges, they are better at communicating their wants and needs than many neurotypical couples and will one day provide their children with a lovely environment to grow in. Do you think it is a good idea for this couple to have children? Should anyone have the right to interfere with the choices of individuals who want to get married or have children? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.